CB near Virginia is one of 29 sites in the National Estuary and Research Reserve System, which was born out of the Coastal Zone Management Act of 1972. Each of these sites in the system is co-managed through NOAA and a state entity, and our partner is VIMS, the Virginia Institute of Marine Science. As part of the National Estuary and Research Reserve System, we have a mandate to conduct research and stewardship and to empower communities through education and training. The four reserves starting at the mouth of the York River are Goodwin Islands, followed by Catlett Islands, and then working upriver we have Taskins Creek, and finally Sweet Hall Marsh in the Pamunkey River. NEARS is dedicated to effective science-based management of estuary and coastal ecosystems, addressing local, regional, and national needs and challenges. We do that through collecting information to increase our understanding of those issues, disseminating the information to our stakeholders to inform their decision-making, and then engaging the public through our education programs to increase awareness and our next generation of students. So what we have done here at CB Near is implement two really powerful sampling tools in order to capture more data over short time periods and over distances. One of these is what we call our fixed continuous monitoring stations where we are sampling every 15 minutes, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The other very powerful tool is what we call Dataflow. Dataflow is a vessel-based tool, which is an underway mapping system that measures every two to four seconds. We have an incredible amount of data, over 170 million data points collected over 25 years and at an amazing number, millions of locations as well. And uh, my favorite part is looking through those data sets and finding patterns and seeing how they might affect our management of the coasts. We can feed that information to coastal managers and into national syntheses where that data can inform adaptive management strategies. And we have some of the best data sets in the entire world. So we're not just helping local areas, which is very important. We're also helping the globe with our data. One of our biggest efforts at the reserve is to try and have multiple exposures for students. So if we have students that attend a summer camp, then they also have the opportunity to attend a school program. They might be able to bring their family and learn together at a discovery lab. And then they may even have the opportunity to volunteer or become an intern for the reserve's education program. And we even have some students that will continue through that whole process and even get a job at VIMS or attend VIMS for graduate school. So we're really trying to keep that continuum of opportunities for students. So where I see the future of CB NEARS going is better meeting the needs of our stakeholders. And I'll give you a few examples of that. Uh, addressing harmful algal blooms, increasing emergence of such things as acidification and its impact on our shellfish industry, which is one of the largest or is the largest on the East Coast of the United States as well as dealing with climate change issues, both on our natural resources and what it might mean to our coastal communities. And making that linkage to what happens on the land and its impact in, in our coastal waters and in, a, in those habitats and make sure that everybody feels that connection. 